haven't I have not went back right, to guys. AO in Let's a while. Get started. First right, question then. on the document is are there plans for seasonal events in the future? Ooh, like any, seasonal any new um, ones specifically. Shit. Not any plans, but we will do more. I just don't really know when. I'm gonna lower the volume a little bit, guys. Sorry about that. Ideally, we wanted to do a Christmas or Halloween event, but we wanted to give that time to properly get the first part of Nimbus out, just so y'all had more content. I felt like that would be more enjoyable for everybody. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, cause like I don't want to stop working on content and stuff to do an event update when the game's like in early access. Yeah. Plus, it'll just be gone in, a, in like a like what two weeks? So. We just prioritized prioritized uh, content over an event this time around, but we do want to do more. We do want to do more. Wow. So, go, guys. no seasonal event after... <sighs> Until, straight. like, what? Alright, we're good. Halloween? How will lost wow. Be obtained? Ooh, oh, good question. Um, Great question. Whoever made that question, good job. Whoa, Holy shit. I see that in the background? I see that. <laughs> it's kind of crazy. The whole tsunami going through so the entire you'll game. Pretty much just find them, like, uh, oh wait, is that the new map? You find the lost spell I think that's the new map. Find, like, Shit. Magic scrolls. And there will probably be like a pity system for it and all that, and like. Oh God. Uh, lost magic rogue. You hear that, guys? Ways to get them. Sunken fishing 2.0 without the luck potion. It'll be unique and fun. It, it won't just be RNG. It'll be but unique and fun. <laughs> not just RNG, my ass. I don't believe that. Cook. Right. Oh yeah, and that um, I want to say updates after this one, like the Nimbus Part One. I'm gonna start doing them as monthly updates. Where, mm. like, uh, we just don't know how I feel like about that. that. Done pretty much, cause <sighs> this update kind of made me realize like if stuff is gonna take way longer then we realize then it may as well just be broken up into like monthly updates Ooh. because the game really can't go like months and months without updates it's just it sucks yeah. true 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 it does suck how does arcanium work Ooh. oh 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 i'm listening like lore wise or like as a function in the game oh, let's do both like <laughs> well lore wise <laughs> I think we said a long time Great ago question. that it's metal that is like combined with sea salt because sea, sea salt in the verse is like kind of polluted or like uh... Roasting one it's piece. Like, it it's radiated. Has, yeah, like irradiated with magic energy. So that's kind of like the pseudoscience of it is just that like adding that to a metal gives it like the ability to conduct magic. Hmm. How about like functionality wise, like does it work? So for it to like emit magic, the <laughs> mage or whatever has to manually like uh like imbue it okay. into it. So you have to with set like it. a magic circle or something. Alright. And uh over time, like if someone is using a arcanium weapon for years and years the sea salt in it can like change its properties to emit that magic like passively which is like how the legendary weapons in arcane adventures worked what feature are you most excited to have released probably clan building with the empire's update just oh no not the clan it gives a whole nother huge activity for people to do which is like building oh, no like, towns or castles on islands and like saving them and stuff and getting like resources from them and all that because it won't really just be for pvpers either i'm gonna try to make it so that like if you're not a pvpr you can still uh like build and mm. like, get the stuff without Great. having to like take other islands from people and yeah, that should be very Thank God. fun to no more pvp for me we missed the bazooka. will you add any new types of weapons in the future more strength weapons 
Yeah, we want to add more like sites and stuff. It's just sites for shanks. New types when what? The existing types no way. Have all their skills still. So yeah, fair enough. With below, what are you most excited to show off in the Basin? Ooh, mm, good question. Probably have the same idea, but it's <laughs> a particular part in the story, like near the ending. Oh, near the ending. Okay, so we we're very excited to. All I'll comment on it is we finally get to see the apex of this world, and it's really cool the way we want to do it. The yeah. apex. <laughs> the apex. Hmm. Uh, Hidden boss incoming. Is acting in AO. Oh, voice acting. Uh oh. Just because like there's Too so expensive. many lines of story and like, for example, if we got like a voice actor for core, Jordan, we're just core. Be, like with us through the game for like years and years to keep voicing his like future lines and stuff. Yeah. So I don't know. At best, you can probably losses. No money. Yeah. Conceptually, be really cool, but we don't know how to do it in an <laughs> efficient way for it not to be cringy. Yeah. Like the best you can do is probably just the bosses, and that's it. All right. Would you so we'll get some old characters coming in. That's nice. In future, probably like established? the villain. Nah, I'm done making uh, base magics and variations for them. Yeah. <gasps> no. No more base magic. Paper magic, guys, um, is removed. Gone. Well, intensity ever it was bad questions. <laughs> use, so. nah, an intensity question. I guess Someone put out good questions. Yeah, so I plan to Quick, change we need to learn more about the system. Instead of doing all its random little stuff it does right now, those effects will be changed into like uh, jewel secondary effects. Oh. And uh, intensity will be changed to reduce attack cooldowns the more you. Oh. Have to do. Oh go. God. I don't know if that'll be this update. Maybe. Intensity changes. But yeah, there you go. Nice, good. Would you ever add land animals and monsters? Yeah, we want to eventually, but hmm. probably not till like I don't know after this year. Okay. What is your least favorite part of development? Mm. Ooh, Bobby, spread the hate. New UI. Yes. It's just like really tedious. Fair enough. The UI is tedious, is it? The inventory, Our yes, did, yeah. Which will we ever be able to switch our first magics? Like uh, how other builds can like kind of switch their fighting styles and weapons? Yeah, but I don't really know when that'll be. Okay. Will there be other forms of transportation other than um, just boats? Oh, more Probably boats? not. I oh. know for Samiria, I kind of wanted to add like horses or something, but hmm. I'm not really sure how it would work. Horses on land. Ugh. It's cool. But... Will there ever be any indoor boss fights that make use of environments, such as like parkour spots or maybe breaking stuff? More boss stuff like that. interactives. Very nice. In a way, kinda. Yeah. I mean, we mm. kind of already have that to a degree, but definitely more. Oh yeah, like the Shoy Weak spell. Will there ever be something? Mobile support or council support? Probably not either, honestly, because, um... Oh, concept players, just, like, so rest in peace. You'd have to do. Like, for mobile, it would be possible, but it wouldn't be pretty. Like, there'd be probably seven buttons on your screen overlapping, like, all the UI. Yeah, that'd be kind of dead. Can spear energy be imbued into fighting styles? Yeah, so you'd be able to imbue spirit energy into... Weapons, magic, and fighting styles, and uh, yeah, like you'd be able to double imbue it too if you have a savant build. Like you'd be able to do spirit energy and uh, fighting style imbued weapon attacks. Man, that's actually sick. <laughs> that's sick as hell. When Bumans um, so love to hear that. Lord question, right? Can physics be added to ships so you don't fly backwards when you jump? Um, I saw Rail C's added that, but I just don't really see the point in a game like this, because if you think about it, like, if you get attacked on your ship, you're probably just going to stop your ship anyway. Like, why would you want to keep fighting on it while it's moving and have it, like, crash into something? Yeah. Of course you would. So you sail into the dark sea, 
get your opponent. Will you be able to make Promethean fire conjure? So like <laughs> Promethean flame. Oh god. Um honestly Funny. I don't think Promethean Fire will be player obtainable. Oh man. Just cause like it's not the ancient kind of magic. Like the pinnacle magic. Yeah. Yeah. The original magic is too good, too powerful in the hands of players. How will you approach alternate files in the future when there are higher level casts? Will there be like level boosts or Ooh, skips or interesting. that sort? That's a yeah, so someone had a, an idea for that. I think it was headless, Level skipping? I might Damn. Wrong, but, I farm um, so much. I should probably finish like all my future, farms. Say the level cap is like 250. If you played through the story on one file, you oh, would be able no. to buy like a product on your other files to say like boost you to level one fifty or uh one hundred. Only a hundred? Oh man! Stuff and like skip part of the story. I see. And we would probably add those to like different level uh stages, like a hundred, two hundred. Yeah, fair enough. Would you add, would you ever add, like, voice chat to, uh, AO? <laughs> yeah, so I've been wanting to add voice chat. Voice chat, chat in Arcane? Oh Roblox my god. Roblox not had an API for it, which means, like, if you want to add it to your game, you have to have that stupid little mute bubble above the character's head constantly. Ugh. But I do think they added an API for it recently, <laughs> but I'm not sure. So if they did, I'd want to add a mute button, like, in the top left or something. Good, good, good. Like constantly on screen. That's like the reason I've never added it. It's just cause I hate that thing. Yeah, it really breaks immersion. Yeah, I know some uh some like Roblox versions have the mute button on the top left as like a option. But yeah. Will the Dark Sea ever be expanded on more? Will there be bosses and new island types? Yeah. So the plan is after each sea's story is done. There will be like another Dark Sea update, which adds like more types of enemies, more features, and like new items to get for that level. So like after Nimbus, we would add like level 250 items or so to it. And um, yeah, it would just be like a constantly expanding thing over time. That's pretty sick actually, yeah. Lost magic you're planning to add, and will it be added all at once or just one at a time? Oh. Uh, we don't have like a set one we're gonna add first, but um, yeah, there would be a bunch added at the same time. I don't know about all of them, because they will be like there will be new lost magics being added like regularly. It's not like a set list or anything. Regular devil fruits incoming. There will be more content in the epicenter. Yes, there will be. With every up update we've or with every major sea that's finished, we're gonna revamp well, not revamp, but add more content to the dark sea. And that includes the epicenter. I mean it's the center of everything. Of everything wrong, so it's gonna have some some demons there. I'm gonna traumatize y'all. Uh -oh. Someone's asking if there are any plans to do more mini updates on WOM like recently. I think he said he wanted to change his update plan to like once a month, right? For World of Magic, nah, I just did those small changes because it like took no time at all. They were just like basic number changes. So I wouldn't do like any crazy updates that require like testing for World of Magic. Just because like, I don't know, it's kind of a waste. I see, I see. Uh, someone's asking, will there ever be legendary weapons added back into the game? Yeah, but they won't be as, like, broken as the AA ones, because they'd have to be balanced with, uh, ancient magics and upgraded lost. When will well, auctions be added? Uh, so, Headless is working on it right now. I don't know what update it would be a part of. Hopefully, next one. But it's taking a while just because, like, it's so complicated to make a cross-server marketplace that, like, has a server that can, like, keep up with all the demands and stuff. But it's almost fully thought out, I would say. 
Auction coming soon. Nice. Will we ever get an animal like boss, like a big spider or anything of that sort? Probably not as like a story boss, but when animals are added eventually, I think it would be cool to have like legendary beast, uh, like boss fights. Like say, um, Kraken. An island has like a enormous bear that was like created by magic or something. Yeah, that'd be sick. Gotta get a wolf in there too. Of course, you said the wolf. <laughs> Maybe a lion. Poor creator Vtex over here is looking pretty sunburned. <laughs> I'm not doing too hot either, my guy. When will we see the reintroduction of instruments? So someone's asking about like a, a little guitar, some banjo, maybe a tambourine or two. I have no idea. No idea when that's gonna come about. It'll probably happen. Day. Just maybe one day. One day, one day. I wonder if you guys uh, would plan to like maybe add skills to them as well. Maybe you get like a buff or something for using them. I think the idea was that they would um, give buffs to party members, yeah. I see, there you go guys. When's Nimbus C part 1 dropping? Hopefully this month, but it's been <sighs> rough. This like, month? The past few days I've been, I was working on a feature that I had to completely scrap because I just kept running into like roadblock after roadblock and like setbacks so yeah it's just been rough if someone's asking for more feminine clothing will there be more of that <laughs> yeah um where does the skull tooth dagger come from skull tooth skull tooth do we have that maybe scald not yet maybe scald yeah, that's what they meant a little burning dagger uh, just some dark sea sea creature. I don't know. No, I guess yeah. The sea creature doesn't exist, so I'm wondering where it's from. Will Prince Ravon be in, be a future boss? A future boss? Like another again, I guess. I mean, you'd have to leave the Bronze Sea to do that. <laughs> I mean, he did say he would hunt the player down for all eternity, so true but we don't know what you will who knows what happened with that take that as you will <laughs> <laughs> yeah well, it was kind of the, like uh, the m1s now are like projectiles for magics I so show you can't really add like if you want <gasps> new combat let's go there's a magic m1 right there a little projectile that you throw out 40 is that a normal cutlass or what is that? I've never seen that. Oh, it's the um boss cutlass. Oh, okay. uh -oh. So, uh -oh. Um, <laughs> I didn't know you had that equipped. I, mean, I didn't. I didn't. I never got that one. So me neither. I didn't know I had it equipped. <laughs> I just throw on whatever into you. <laughs> Last question that someone asked: Will flight spells return? I do think they will in some way, but they'll have to be like very limiting because mm. I don't want them to replace boat travel. Flight magic, let's like, go. Your boat in this game is meant to be kind of like your home. Finally. Like, it goes everywhere with you. Like you're meant to develop your ship like alongside your character, so I wouldn't ever want to make that be useless. Yeah. I mean, plus, there's always the chance that, you know, you're fighting somebody and they're just like, nope, dip. I'd be so mad. This is okay. kind of a good one. Will our crew be able to fight back? Probably not ever, mm. just because, like, I wanted to add it, but I don't think it will ever be a thing, just because, like, it would be so chaotic to have, like, basically 20 versus 20 NPCs. Like, I don't think it would look good in terms of, like, gameplay. Plus, it'll be really intensive on lag. But we do have an idea for, um, like, with island building, you may be able to station your quartermasters there to, like, guard your islands. I was just about to say that. That's probably the closest we'll get. Yeah.
that just about wraps it up. Thank you guys for all coming up to the stream. Wow, that was first, long. Yeah, thank you all for tuning in. Yeah, the first Arcane Odyssey Q and A on the Dev Channel. Of Amazing. Course. It will be this VOD will be uploaded for our EU folks who are currently maybe resting or couldn't watch the whole thing since it, it is pretty late for them. Yeah. Hopefully we can do these somewhat regularly. Yeah, that'd be like cool. Maybe huh. every few months. I'd like to. Maybe every major update, stuff like that. <laughs> be very interesting. <sighs> More updates. That's good. Yeah, that's good. End it off. You guys can say goodbye. I'll say goodbye too. Goodbye, y'all. Thanks for tuning in. Um, we'll catch y'all relatively <sighs> soon then. Yeah. Yep. Oh Peace. wow. Peace, y'all. Peace, y'all. All right. Yeah. See ya. Thanks for watching. Time to dip. Man, that shit was long.